Howdy folks, Petey here with a tutorial on how to change the springs in a Logitech G29 or G920 pedal set for more mid-range throttle control. You're going to need a number 2 Phillips screwdriver and a T10 star bit driver. First you start off by taking the, co the pedal covers off like I you see me doing here it's just two of the two screws with the star bit for each pedal sorry about the camera jumping it's first time using a new camera and I'm not sure why it's doing it but again here we are just taking off the pedal covers I learned the hard way that I should have taken these off first because I have already taken mine apart and switched it so I'm just going you know just gonna show everybody how to do it themselves instead of going out and spending money for some sort of like conversion kit or something when you can do it at home for free All right, this part we're gonna speed it up a bit because there's a lot of screws on the back you'll see me taking out two different colored screws the silver colored ones are the ones that actually hold the back plate on to the base unit itself and then the black ones are the ones that hold the pedals to the base so here we are just taking out all the screws there is quite a few to say the least <laughs> I think there's 12 black ones in total and then Fourteen silver ones and I know a couple of people that have tried to take those apart and couldn't get this back plate off once I get all the rest of the screws out I will do a close-up and show you why they most likely couldn't get the back plate off because there's two screws that are kind of hidden and if you don't know they're there, then you're not going to be able to get the back plate off if you don't get them ones out. So I will do a close up and show you guys where the hidden ones are. You're, it's also going to help if you have a magnetic screwdriver. Because you saw me with that one, I just used it as a magnet to get some of the deeper set screws out and this tutorial is mainly for like eye racing or if you're using your pedal set for racing in general because changing these springs will give you a lot will make your throttle pedal a lot stiffer so it'll give you a lot more mid-range throttle control versus the stock setup that comes with the pedals <laughs> I think I have most of the screws out and again I want to apologize for the camera stuttering and jumping it's a brand new camera so not sure why it's doing it We have most of the screws out. Sorry for the close-up of the elbow. I don't have a tripod or anything for my camera. So if you follow me on Instagram or, or in my Discord, there's a picture that I posted of how, I, how my wife uh, helped me jimmy rig my camera to my mic stand with a bunch of rubber bands 
So. Alright, I think I'm about ready to get to the final screws. Yep. Alright. Right there, there's two screws underneath that rug plate. So, you have to flip that up, pull it up a little bit with your finger to get to them screws. But them are the last two screws that you have to get to be able to take the back plate off. And there again, I'm using my magnetic screwdriver just to get the screws out. And then take the back plate off. And there's the pedals. See how they're labeled A, B, and C? I will... A is is your accelerator. B is your brake. And then C is your clutch. And then to take the springs themselves out. There's just two of the star headed uh, screws on each side of the pedal and that takes the top part of the plastic sleeve over the spring off so you just take the one screw out of each side and then they just come apart quite easily and you're when you take your set apart it's gonna the springs are gonna look a little different than mine because I wasn't thinking and didn't put them back to the original setup but I will show you how they were originally and there I've got both screws out and then you just pull the top part of that shock out and there's the spring and that spring, that silver colored spring, is the one that originally comes in the brake pedal. And that's what I had, I use for my throttle pedal. It was that spring and then there's a little rubber shimmy at the bottom of the spring for the brake pedal. I decided to leave that part inside the spring of the brake pedal and not move it to the throttle pedal. And it's, for me, it took some getting used to having such a stiff spring for your acceleration. And there we are, taking the shock for the brake spring apart. And then the last one is the clutch. Like I said, again, it's just two screws on one on each side of the pedal itself. Once you get it taken apart. So, it's overall, it's not too difficult. Like, I still have it, everything plugged in. It's just sitting up on my desktop. <clears throat> and I will show you here in a second how the springs were originally because you you'll see here in a second that the spring in the clutch pedal is it's a longer spring but it is really small all right here's all what well, all three springs That's the original throttle pedal spring. Like I said, I have moved that over 
to my clutch spring so my clutch or to my clutch pedal so my clutch is real easy but most of the time I don't use the clutch for iRacing racing anyway um, the spring that was originally in the clutch I have moved over to the brake pedal it's a little bit stiffer well quite a bit stiffer than the original accelerator pedal or spring and I put the spring that's originally from the brake pedal into my throttle pedal and that's it's the only silver colored spring of the three the one originally in the clutch pedal is black and it's about the same thickness and length as the one from the brake pedal and that's the one I put in the brake pedal is the spring from the clutch so just so everybody's aware if I'm doing too much talking it's the brake pedal spring to the throttle pedal the clutch pedal spring to the brake pedal and then the throttle pedal spring to the clutch pedal and then you just go ahead and you know move them springs around get it all lined up and put it back all back together <clears throat> and again it's just two screws one on each side of the pedal at the top of the collar over the spring I was actually surprised the first time I did it how simple it was and now I'm putting the sleeve back on the clutch and then I did the brake one la the la brake last It's a pain. It's kind of a pain because you know you're fighting against the spring and you have to get it lined up. Plus, there's a little brass piece that goes through the top of the plastic that you actually screw the screws into. <clears throat> Alright, there's the first screw back into the clutch. <laughs> and if you are a fellow sim racer like I am, I hope the this sh quick how to video of changing these springs around helps you improve as much as it has me because like I said for as far as like my mid-range throttle control it's it's night and day difference plus I know there's like conversion kits and stuff you can go out and buy if you're like me I don't like spending money so this is just a quick way to try to improve your pedal set without having to spend money. Especially if you have any, like, mechanical know-how. It's fairly simple. Again, I'm just trying to, you can see the brass piece now. I'm just trying to get that lined up.
And I figure, hey, if someone like me, I'm just a simple farmer. If I can figure out how to do this. I didn't watch a tutorial video. I just took them apart and looked at what I had. All right, here we are. We're starting to put the pedals back into place. Then I, what I did was I got them in there and then I picked up the base itself so the pedals sat back down where they're supposed to. And here I am putting the back cover back on. What I did was I just got it lined up and then put two of the silver screws back in, one in each bottom corner. And then, after, once I got them two in, it was pretty easy to, you know, get it all to go back together. Because them two really helped suck it back down. And then I went to the top and did the corners on the top. Again, sorry for the close-up of the elbow. Alright, here I am putting the two screws back in underneath that carpet plate. Or carpet. Yeah, carpet plate. So, them are the ones that I highlighted when I was taking it apart to make sure that everybody is aware that they are there. Because if you don't get them out, you're not getting it off without breaking it. And what I just went around and put all the silver screws back in, so the base or so the base or the bottom plate here was tight, and that everything was in position before I started screwing the black ones into the bottom of the pedals themselves. All together, this, the first time I took them apart myself to do it, to change it originally, probably 45 minutes. This took me half an hour, but like I said, I sped up the parts where I was taking the screws out of the back, and I, you can see that I've sped it up here again as I'm putting all the screws back in the back. Just to save everybody you know, a little bit of time. Shave 10 minutes off the video length. But I'm sure, you know, you get the gist of it. As far as taking all the screws out of the back and then putting them all back in. And I'm gathering all 12 of the black screws that go into the bottom of the pedals themselves. And this is just about going to wrap up this tutorial on how to change your pedals or your springs in your G29 or G920 pedals and I hope any of you that watch this I hope this helps you improve or helps you get your pedals situated to where you you know you don't have to go out and spend money and like I said it just took me about 45 minutes maybe an hour at most when I originally did it myself but uh, I've talked to a couple people since then that you know thought it was a good idea that I make this t short tutorial on how to change them because I know there's a lot of people out there that run these pedals that do sim racing they're decent entry-level 
pedals and steering wheel set. And I hope that this helps anybody that's looking to improve. Like I said, I know it improved my racecraft considerably. And here we are just putting the pedal covers back on. You have the accelerator or throttle on the right. And then your brake is in the middle and your clutch is on the left. And at the very end, I will show you the difference and how much stiffer the throttle spring is now compared to the original setup. And I also want to thank everybody for the likes, the comments, the views. And there's the difference in the stiffness. So again, thank you for the views, the likes, and the comments. And we'll catch you next.